It's round two for Chicago's most popular art museum. The Art Institute of Chicago opened its doors yesterday for the second time during the pandemic. Just in time for Valentine's Day weekend. Here's CBS 2's Marissa Power with what you can expect. Surrounded by prize collections from around the world, the real sight for sore eyes here are the humans back at the Art Institute for the first time in months. Everyone's happy to see each other face to face. Amy Allen likens today's reopening to a reunion. Like the rest of the museums in town, the Art Institute of Chicago closed during the spring, reopened during the summer, only to close again. The Bisa Butler was actually only open to the public one day before we had to close. She says they did not let the downtime go to waste. Behind that curtain is a Tiffany window work in progress. It's special to have the museum closed and be able to make headway on some major installations. Aside from the usual signage, there are some changes. The 1 million square feet capped at 25% capacity. And the number one thing they don't want to see people hovering. Instead of waiting in line for tickets, they're asking you to have your phone ready so that you can scan it and keep it moving by getting straight to the exhibits. And it's the same idea with the Monet and Bisa Butler exhibits, which have been extended. Now you can get in line online to go see them. Alan says there were a lot of sleepless nights on Zoom, mapping out every detail, even down to the direction of the arrows on the floor to make an unusual time feel just a little bit like the way things were before. It makes myself and the team's so happy to be able to welcome people back during what's been a pretty tough year for everybody. From the Loop, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. The Shedd Aquarium and the Field Museum are also open right now with similar precautions in place. The Museum of Science and Industry will reopen to members on March 4th and to the general public March 7th.